Hey guys, today I'm going to, what am I going to talk about today? Oh, there's also a contest on Instagram, which is going to end probably soon. It looks like I'm at 1600 plus. I need to get to 2222. No, yeah, 2222. And then we're going to give away um, the book and then five boost packs of uh, Zendikar. For this channel, uh, we I don't know when this video is going to be posted, but we're getting to close to 20,000, which means we'll have the contest. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the contest. Um, yeah, I'm hope hopefully I can learn to do the stuff uh, using OBS, which is the live streaming. I at this moment do not know how to use it, uh, and so if someone can link me a tutorial, like which is really easy below. I would love to do that, and then maybe I'll live stream the giveaway, um, which would be great. Uh, that would be pretty awesome in my opinion. So. Let's talk about my favorite speculation. That's what I was talking about. I was like, oh wow. And I don't really know if I wanted to make it um, because it's an interesting speculation as I look for my phone. Uh, it's Draina. Draina Liberator of uh, Zendikar, I believe, is her last name. So Draina, I'm gonna check her price right now. And so I'm gonna check the price and I'm gonna show it to you. And I probably should uh, create a private window. <laughs> It's some like my coding stuff on it. Not that like you guys, I, I would even care because coding is coding. Uh, Liberator. But I'm sure it's like an investor or something like Buddy would be like, oh, you shouldn't do that. Oh, cool. So right now, C is $4.44 low, 727 median, and her high is $30, which I don't really get. So this is Drena. So, okay. <laughs> Hopefully you can see that through the glare, and that's just a timestamp it. So essentially, you can get her for less than five bucks on eBay, it looks like. Drainer Liberator of Malakir. Hmm, not Zendikar, Malakir. A legendary creature, vampire ally. So five bucks, I'm gonna set her price at five bucks, and I think that's the actual price you can buy one of her at on eBay. Uh, definitely a playset for 20 bucks, I've seen that all day. Uh, as of this recording of this video, it's $5. The other card that I think she most resembles is Olivia Voderin. It was a time where Olivia was $5 too. Now you might say, oh, Olivia, you know, can take care of a game, it can she can dominate. Yes, we're going back to Innistrad. Innistrad has these creatures called vampires. Vampire Tribal was pretty decent in Innistrad. It's not the best because you needed the zombies, that's the sack outlets for the aristocrat. And I mean, Olivia was, this card remember, reminds me a lot of Olivia. When it first came out, it was, you know, a $15, $20 card and it drops. And then just randomly the meta aligns correctly and the card Olivia Voderin becomes a powerhouse. So at $5, Drainer, I think it's gonna hit at least 10. And you might be like, oh, that's not a big difference. It really is, it's a 100% increase of a card, of this type of card, the card that you know has fallen from grace, if you will, is a huge increase. So I'm gonna go ahead and say Dra Draina, Liberator of Malakir, is my princess for the next set. And I'm gonna just say it right now, I love her, I think she's gonna do very well. I do feel like they will make a vampire tribal deck that fits. I've already seen these little devil tokens that, you know, these 1-1 one, one, uh, creatures that if they die, it deals one damage. She would be good in that token-based deck as well. And I think she would be excellent, excellent in a black-red token-based deck using those devil creatures uh, because she pumps them up. And when you're ever talking about the typical black red decks of old, they love pumping and they love sacrificing. Those are the two things that deck in Innistrad did the best beyond any other deck. So I love um, Draina. I think $5 for her is a very, very affordable price. Uh, the only concern, so I do have a few concerns. Uh, concern number one, so much a battle for Zendikar was open. Um, it's gonna be hard. I, I admit, it's gonna be hard for any card in that set to really spike in price because there's so much supply. Um, and in the second part, she's a weird card. Um, she could be Olivia, but she could also be Brimaz. So I could see her at 15 easily, but I can also see her at Brimaz, 
or a brim ass or it's all around like $15 for a long time. It just never went up. Everyone expected it to go up. It just never went up and never found a home, never found a deck. And I blame it being double white. I think it, a double white killed it. I think if it was two and a white or um, easier to splash, then it would have been two. It would have been a, amazing. It would have been an amazing card. But it is not. So I think the double black may be an issue. Um, I think the double black on Drena that early on could be an issue uh, depending on the land. So if the lands are not great, could be an issue. Um, and then also just so much of it was open. So much Battle for Zendikar was open that I don't know if uh, she can ever spike to $15 or 20. I hope she gets there, but just too much of it was open for me to um, be optimistic about that fact. Anyway, that's it. Um, what do you guys think about Drainer? Do you like her? Do you not like her? Leave a comment below. Do you have a speculation you want me to talk about? Or, uh, hey, leave a comment below. <laughs> Bye guys.